Welcome to another award presentation from Global Banking and Finance Review. Global Banking and Finance Review is one of the best known names in the world of finance and banking. The awards were set up to give recognition to types of companies that are prominent in particular areas of expertise and excellence within the global financial community. This time, the award goes to Mozambique Previdente for Best New Pension Fund Management Company Mozambique 2014. Mozambique Previdente specializes in pension fund management, filling a new market need within Mozambique's growing economy. Major government initiatives and foreign investment have seen an expansion of construction projects and business operations. A new modern approach to industry and commerce has placed Mozambique Previdente in the forefront of pension management as the workforce increases. Managing Director Aldo Tembe came to London to receive the award, which was presented by Global Banking and Finance Review's Nola Leary and Jessica McManigan. After the presentation, I was able to talk to him about the award and the company's pension management policies. Well, Aldo, welcome to London and congratulations on winning the award as well. Thank you, and this is a very rewarding experience for us and I'm very grateful for this prize that we received. Excellent. I'd like to talk to you a little bit more, if I can, about Mozambique Previdente. Yes, please. Uh, and the first of all, why exactly was it created? Well, uh, I will have to go back to 2009 when the law for complementary pension fund was enacted and published in Mozambique. At that time, NBC Holdings, which is the technical partner of Mozambique Previdente, was expanding its activities out of South Africa and as well EMOS, uh, the other partner and the Mozambican insurance company decided to go into this new area of business. So both companies got together and got other partners, which is ISHEP and the, the MOZ employees, to create Mozambique Providente. So it, let's say it was a gap in the market and the opportunity that was arisen by the enactment of the law. Well, obviously you fulfilled or filled that gap in the market. Uh, and I know that n in recent times you've invested over $1 million in infrastructure uh, and also in, in trading of employees. Why did you feel the need to do that? Yes, as explained, it was the, it's, it's been a, it's a new market, uh, first and foremost. And as well, the strategy was not to bring uh, foreign employers to do all the work. So we decided to have the top investments in infrastructure in terms of IT and equipment, and we decided to train most of the local people. We wanted the expertise to be local and people to understand what is being done and to run the business by local. So it was needed a lot of training brought in from the outside expertise, mainly South Africa. And then uh, the requirements that we have by law as well is that most of part of our infrastructure must be located in country. So we decided that yes, we will fulfill this and bring, put all top notch, top notch infrastructure uh, in country. But we want to be here forever, for a long time. So we need to have proper trained people and locals mainly. Now, let's talk about the award itself and supplementary uh, benefit system that, uh, that you've actually uh, instituted. Um, that's obviously something which has now become a, a way of life uh, in Mozambique and it's uh, fairly recent. Uh, tell me a little bit more about the benefits of that. Yes, uh, we are starting off as a basic pension plan by where you where, whereby you have annuities, retirement annuities. Uh, but we increase it, uh, we're putting in uh, group life insurance and we're putting in funeral benefits because we see uh, as a group for the pension fund, this is the most easiest benefit for people to understand. But we're building on and want to create a most, a most complex structure for the pension fund. So for now, the benefits that we provide with the, apart from the pension itself, that you, the savings that you have, you do have the group life insurance the life insurance and then you have the funeral benefits insurance but we, we are not only ring fencing ourselves in this one what we're doing is that we provide uh, custom custom made solutions for our clients so whatever the clients think he wants to put as an added benefit for the employees we are we find a way to put it in into the pension fund package and in the pension fund that we create for the, fund, the client and then we go, if we do cannot provide by ourselves or by our partners, we go into the market and negotiate best price to incorporate in the pension fund. It's the case, for instance, of medical aid uh, to put in together with the pension fund. 
so insurance, for instance, for medical treatment and such like. Exactly. Yeah. We are trying to to see a more comprehensive package that we can have for the, the clients. And as well, uh, we're looking at a financial perspective as well. We don't want it to price it too high, so but we want them to have a complete package that it's, it's in line with what are the benefits they want to give to the employees. And of course, with that, you, you have investment as well. Investment solutions are something I'm sure you provide. Tell me a little bit more about what uh, Mozambique Provident <coughs> can do there. Yes, we are now mainly investing in the money market, uh, fixed term deposits, uh, bonds, and treasury bills. But we, our investment strategy is based on what we call the life stage approach. What we do basically is on all our funds, we look at the, the, the age group of the population wise that we have. So on the most young uh, groups, we do give them more uh, risky solutions but for the long term. So we're looking at uh, not only bonds, but we're looking at shares in, uh, in companies and in listed companies and other stuff. Uh, and then on the people that are the mid age, uh, we're looking at, uh, we mix a little bit more aggressive and more conservative. And then on the people that are more close to retirement, the older, older age people, we look at more, uh, more fixed investment, uh, less risky, and which we can easily convert it into cash to pay out the benefits. So we do have a law that regulates our investment policies that we have to abide to, but we try to combine uh, uh, the return with the risk profile of our members in the fund. I see, that's excellent. Uh, obviously, uh, it's, you become a market leader in pension funds as, as an organization. And I suppose the obvious question is why has that happened and how has it happened? Yes, thank you. Uh, and we are recognized by, by becoming a leader. But I can, I can say that we've become a leader uh, due to the way we are treating this business since day one. We've invested very highly. We invest in not only high, high equipment, high end equipment, but we invested in our people. Uh, we are, with the commitment that we are bringing uh, to the market, it can be shown not only by the way we've got in, because we are the first sole uh, company that was created for the management of pension funds. We do have our other insurance companies in the country and banks that can do the same and are doing the same. But we are looking, we look at a different perspective. We put a more professional look into it and more training that we give to our people. Well. You, you mentioned some of the issues there. What are some of the challenges in actually continuing successfully with, with the, the pension fund scheme? Yes, what we look at the next year and then the following, the fr I can say maybe the f next five years, is that we need to educate our people. We need to educate the Mozambican market to understand what are the needs, uh, f what are the benefits they have for, for complementary pension funds. Because uh, we do have a group that is part of the National Social Security scheme, scheme, the private workers, and the other group that's part of the government pension fund. But then you do have not only people that are unemployed and don't have any, any type of uh, a retirement uh, solution, but you need to top up what the other two systems are giving because uh, they cater for the basic needs that the people have. But if you do want to have a better retirement, you need to invest, you need to invest early. So this is, one, this is the main issue or the main uh, challenge that we have for the next years, to educate people to understand what are the benefits and basically what is a pension fund scheme. Mm -hmm. Obviously a big success for Mozambique Providente. How do you actually help the government economy, the actual economy of the country itself? Yes, we are trying to position ourselves as one of the first solutions that government will have to invest in their own projects, but as well we're trying to help the individual. As you know, pension is a way of saving for the individual, and our law, our law allows us to use at, at least to 80% of the fund credit of each member of the funds to, as a collateral for housing loan. And being a third world country, a developing country, which is in the rise, housing needs are something that are always there and, and it's one of the main issues that we face. So this will help the individual to have better housing and better products. But as well, uh, we want, with the investments that we're doing, we're not only looking at providing returns to our members, but we're looking as in a social uh, or investment that we can do to the country. So we're looking at government plans as well and we're going hand to hand where the, the, the needs are in country, but looking of course to bring better returns to our members. That's quite interesting because you're actually in incorporating your operation within uh, government and, and uh, the operation of uh, everyone uh, ar around the country. Looking ahead to the rest of this year, what do you see as the future plans for Mozambique Previdente? Yes, we are now uh, finalizing some of our big contracts. 
we want to, prom to, to be involved more in the financial literacy uh, campaign that's happening in the country. And of course, we are looking at new ways of investment. We want to go into different markets because our client base, us, our fund asset is growing. So we need to see uh, different investment needs that go in hand in hand to what our client wants. Uh, we're looking to a bright future, uh, fortunately, and we believe that with the award and the recognition that we have here, it will help us in our mission. Well, I wish you every success uh, in the future. Thank you so much Thank for coming to London and talking to us today, Aldo. Thank very you much. Very much. Congratulations.